Okay, let's look at this question to help to uh, sum up and consolidate how to explain the mode of action of an enzyme. Okay, right, so again, there are four aspects, right? Uh, mentioned in the learning outcome, the active site, enzyme substrate complex, enzyme specificity, and lowering of activation energy. Right, so we will look at how they can be linked together to explain the mode of action of enzyme. Right, so this is a proposed structure for the explanation. You don't have to follow exactly the structure. There are different ways to write it. But uh, if you are not sure, then uh, you may follow this proposed structure. Okay, so I would, if I'm answering the question, if I'm explaining the mode of action of enzymes, I would start with the active site of the, subs uh, of the enzyme and uh, explain how it is complementary in shape and charge to the substrate. After I've mentioned that, right, then I can go on to explain, right, because of the complementary shape and charge, how the enzyme is specific to its substrate, and I will bring in the two hypotheses to help me to explain this enzyme specificity, right, as mentioned in the learning outcome. So once I have explained the specificity between the substrate and enzyme, then I can talk about the binding of the substrate to the respective enzyme, via binding to the active site to form the enzyme substrate complex. Once the enzyme substrate complex is formed, it lowers the activation energy of the reaction and I can bring in the different mechanisms right, to explain for this uh, lowering of activation energy. Right, so this is a structure that I would use to explain the mode of action of enzymes. Again, you don't have to follow this structure but if you are not sure, then uh, this is a suggested structure for you. 